Hey folks, Crazy Climberator here again, and this time we're going to take a look at a game called The Speed Rumbler, and this was created by Capcom in 1986, and uh, Capcom has a history of some really, really hard games. This definitely stands out among the hard ones. This is painfully hard, but uh, this is an overhead uh, game in which you drive this car through enemy military strongholds and just try to reach the end. Um, the game is linked to Commando. The, the protagonist of this game who drives the car is Joseph Gibson, also known as Super Joe. He was the protagonist of Commando and the protagonist of the arcade version of Bionic Commando. But he drives this car. And the story basically goes that there is a terrorist group in the future, well, from from this game, it's it's uh, actually uh, more like present day in real life. But uh, there's a terrorist group that attacks small towns, and uh, Super Joe's family is at risk, and he has to save them and the townspeople in a total of 24 hours. If you fail to uh, beat a if you fail to uh, uh, beat a level in four minutes, then the time ends and your game is over. We'll get started here. Little bit of story here. And those are the terrorists, and this is Super Joe seeing this note here. But the, uh, the game is super hard. Enemies will shoot at you all the time. There will be enemy cars. There will be drums that will be red, and if you run into them, you get hurt. Just bumping into the cars that just continually hound you causes you damage. You can see your damage bar at the top center. There will be uh, jail cells that you can destroy or run over. And there will be uh, people inside holding uh, helpful items. And that is the most helpful of all. There is a uh, cross sign for uh, health. Pick that up and you get your health restored. Pick up a wrench and you get your uh, maximum health uh, bar extended. And there will also be weapons you can pick up that will make your, uh, your shots uh, fly further perhaps they'll be stronger and uh, you can shoot more on the screen at once that guy I hate that cannon that's firing at me you touch him and you're dead it is super critical to know which enemies you can touch which you cannot which enemies ooh you can get out of your uh, vehicle but you are a sitting duck good luck you're gonna be dead <laughs> But when you're uh, on foot, you can press the uh, you can press the the uh, uh, second button. The second button will allow you to eject from your car. Pressing it again when you're out of your car will allow you to do a, a roll, and you might be able to roll through a bullet. This game is just insanely tough. Um, we're not even quite to the end of the first level. But you have to know which enemies you can touch. You might uh, incur some damage doing that, but there will be some enemies that will kill you automatically when you touch them. That truck, I think, might be one of them. These trucks you can bump into. They require a lot of shots to destroy. That one cannon we saw earlier that will kill me by me touching it uh, I cannot destroy. Oh, I'm in trouble here. I'm on foot again. And I am a sitting duck. Ah, crap, hold up. Um, MAME has a hard time uh, keeping your score in this game, I think. Because I know I had more points than this. 
and uh, it didn't count for some reason. So uh, maybe this version of MAME isn't working as well for this game. But there, I made it to the end. But yeah, the items, you, uh, you can get weapon items, and you can keep on collecting those weapon items, and they'll keep increasing your firepower. But they're all gone uh, in between levels. I mean, you, when you go to the next level, you have to start all over again. And your weapon at the start is crappy. You only get to shoot one at a time. Now we have these uh, cars that look like the Rally X cars. <laughs> but uh, it, it's such a hard game. You have six levels that you have to beat. My least favorite enemies in the whole game are those cannons that uh, that you can't destroy, but they can kill you with one touch. And they try to follow you when you try to pass them. They try to run into you. And there I've got uh, more shots I can shoot on the screen at once. Whoops, I got a bail again. Yeah, going on foot, you are dead. Even though even the uh, foot soldiers can easily <clears throat> can easily make short work of you. Now I'll put in my initials. You can put in, I think, a total of uh, either seven or eight letters, which is nice. <clears throat> Hope you're managing to stay cool in this heat. I am. Uh, I am uh, barely managing, and my dog is is roasting. Just let in all the cool air at night that I can. But that is the Speed Rumbler by Capcom in 1986. I saw this in a bowling alley arcade once. We'll scoot forward and see parts of the rest of the game. There are six levels, and there is a final boss after you get through the sixth level. But the uh, areas are... Uh, Peace Village, Rock Valley, Stone Hill, Armed Fort, uh, Develop Zone, and Sap Town. You will die if you go in the water. And you can get bumped by those cars into the water very easily. I put on invincibility at this point. And that's the end of Area 2. I mentioned the cannon that I hate that can easily, uh, that can touch you and kill you, and it follows you when you try to get past it. Um, I hate that, but I also hate these killer rocks that appear on conveyor belts later in the game, and we'll see those eventually. But yeah, this game is notoriously hard. But, yeah, I put on invincibility by this point. Otherwise, uh, these cars would be bumping into me and making short work of me. You can also get shot by the uh, foot soldiers there. And those uh, red explosive barrels can do a lot of damage to you. It's good to try to employ a uh, circle around maneuver to, uh, to shake off the... Uh, the enemy cars, and to go back and grab the uh, the power-ups. There are also bonus points from those uh, guys that you free from the jail cells. You can't kill them. In fact, you gotta run over them to collect their uh, the bonus that they give you. But again, that wrench will uh, will extend the length of your life bar, and collecting those uh, red crosses will uh, totally refill it. We're just going to look later on in at parts of the levels. And here's those conveyor belts that I hate. Touching those rock things will kill you. And sometimes the game has crappy collision detection when you're, when you're trying to avoid going into the water. You can get real close but not in the water and then it counts as you getting killed. Which is really stupid. But we'll just look at uh, parts of the levels. There will be some treacherously thin stretches of road that you have to maneuver. There could be uh, landmines. Hey, I didn't even go in the water. That's bullshit. 
yeah, this game is, is really unfairly hard at times. The bonus points that you pick up from those, uh, from those, uh, uh, guys in the jail cells will always be 2,000 point increments. But yeah, oh, oh, yeah, you have to destroy that little fort thing there in order to advance. And then right past it is this part, the ending of Area 3. But yeah, uh, Mame seemed to uh, forget my score at one point and uh, drop me back down for some reason. I was at like 14,000 or something like that, and then it dropped me back down to 10,000. Don't know why that happened, but... Well, we're uh, halfway through the game now. I also put on a code that gives that lets me keep my uh, firepower in between levels. But yeah, when you go to the next level, uh, in reality, you're supposed to lose all your firepower and start all over. And yeah, your firepower sucks at the beginning. The uh, uh, aficionados of uh, Capcom games will have to admit this is one of their harder ones. Um, and it, once again, Super Joe, who's also known as Joseph Gibson, who was the protagonist of uh, uh, Bio uh, Bionic Commando in the arcades, not the NES one, and in the original Commando, he is the driver of this car. Those, uh, those vehicles that shoot at you that we're seeing, those will not kill you with one touch. And you can, you can destroy these. You have to know which enemies you can destroy, which ones you cannot, which ones are instantly deadly to touch. And these, uh, these boxes here, I believe, are deadly. No, maybe not. That stupid cannon is. I hate that frickin' cannon. And it's easy to accidentally slide into it when you're trying to uh, maneuver. If your uh, vehicle is catching fire, you might be able to eject quickly with the eject button and move around on foot, but you will not last long. <laughs> and uh, if you have infinite energy cheat in MAME, it won't count for when you're on foot. You will still die when you get shot or, or touched. Uh, and those things can also kill you right away, and you can't destroy them. Those bombs will destroy you upon touch. See, you have to outmaneuver him. You have to sneak past him. It's hard to frickin' do. Well, I was lucky that he fired a bomb. Because otherwise he would have touched me and killed me. And now we have these lovely uh, rock things on the conveyor belts. And the rocks will kill you by touch. And you have these uh, tough to negotiate uh, bridges. These guys will kill you by touch. They're also shooting fireballs and they can't be destroyed. But yeah, we'll just look at snippets of the remainder of the game. And that's the end of Area 5. And like I said, uh, the, the last zone, after you beat it, you will have to face a boss. And we will look at that. And this last area is Zap Town. Again, the areas are Peace Village, Rock Valley, Stone Hill, Armed Fort, Develop Zone, and Zap Town. But yeah, this is definitely one of Capcom's harder games. This might, uh, this might even humble fans who, uh, who braved, uh, Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke's notoriously hard, too. I think Capcom just needed, needed you to have, at the very least. Now, that, I don't know what that thing is or what it's doing here, but... 
um, Capcom needed at least to have you start out with a better weapon on this game. Your, uh, your initial shot is really lame. You can only shoot one shot at a time and it's not very fast. You know, when you have enough weapon icon pickups, then, then you see how much faster your shots get and how many more you can shoot on the screen at once and how much stronger they are. And you can keep on collecting these uh, uh, weapon icons from the guys that uh, emerge from the jail cells. But if there will uh, there will be multiple paths you can take sometimes to get to your goal. But you will eventually go to the end up in the same place. I don't believe touching those uh, big purple cannons will kill you automatically. You, have to, you can't go through that broken bridge. You have to go a different path. And then uh, those uh, doors will not close on you and kill you. Don't worry. And you don't get hurt bumping into the doors. Oh, I have to eject. And I'm killed right away, of course. We'll scoot forward and see me uh, get to the end here eventually have to destroy that truck yeah that won't kill you upon touching you right away and we are about to face the final boss of the speed rumbler I still have invincibility on so I'll, so I'll show you what it's like to kill this guy he has a lot of firepower Him. And we get this big old crowd of adoring uh, citizens of these towns pouring in. I will uh, later show you what it's like to beat it without cheats. And I lost, a, I got killed in the process, but it didn't count, which was nice. And you get a nice big bonus of 80,000 points for beating the boss. And then you start the whole game over. But here's me uh, beating the boss without the cheats. I took them off. Come on, there we go. <laughs> I got killed. I'm laying on the ground. The adoring crowd celebrates as over my lifeless corpse <laughs> but it doesn't count you don't lose a life and uh, you will start the whole game over without having lost a life but yeah for some reason in MAME the game screwed up and didn't count my score correctly once so uh, don't be too shocked if that happens it, it does happen through MAME but that was the speed rumbler Created by Capcom in 1986. Very, very, very hard game. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching the Speed Rumbler by Capcom in 1986. I will catch you later in the future with another video. Y'all stay cool, everybody, and have a good one. Catch you later with my next video. Bye, folks.